So once inside your UJet workspace, what you need to do is go towards integrations. From integrations, scroll all the way down where you will see a section for others. Then we will have the Facebook ads. And it's important that you connect here. So as you can see, I already connected. So you only have to press connect and then Basically, it will redirect you back towards Facebook where you will be able to connect towards your ads management system. So if I just disconnect here, there we go. We can say connect Facebook ads. And this will take just a few seconds to redirect back towards Facebook, as you can see. Then we will see, then we will state that we can continue as our own profile. Be sure that both will be marked and are enabled. Press done. And now we can go back towards uh, UChat. Inside, it is important that you choose your correct business with ad accounts. So let's go and press the leads business, list business with ads accounts. And then you can select your ad account. As you can see, I have three and I will use my top one. So press select and then you will see that it's being connected towards your workspace. The next part is also really important because we need to check if UJet has been installed as your CRM management system to receive lead data. You can do so by going towards Facebook, then we can go towards your business manager. Once you are on your business manager settings, you can go towards integrations. From here, you can go towards lead access and you will end up in this overview. If we go towards the section for CRMs, you will need to ensure that the app UChat has been installed just to make sure that you can receive all the lead gen data. So if it's not installed, for me it is, you can just search the name by UChat and then it will show up in the overview. You can then just press connect and then it will install it into the CRM section. The last part is really, really crucial as well because we need to make you understand that the lead gen generation can only be received on the Facebook Messenger channel or the Omni channel. So those are the two places where we can basically create this kind of automation. Once inside your chatbot, you need to go towards the tool sections and then go towards admins. It is important that you assign an admin here because all the lead gen information will go towards this specific admin where you will need to set up the automation on. So you can find a new admin. So let me just delete this by going with a name search in my case. So let's go with Mark. Then I will press and select my messenger profile. For receiving lead generation data, you can only use messenger profiles or your web chat profile. Whatever you prefer, those are the two profiles that need to be the admin of the chatbot. Once you have set this up, you are good to go to receive data from Meta when a new lead signs up for your instant forms. So in the next video, we're going to show you how to create such a form.